Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. In this video, I'm gonna cover when you should considering a digital marketing agency. If you want to grow your business, hiring a digital marketing agency can be one of the best tools that you can use to get growth and get consistent growth. But there are definitely times when it is not time yet for you to hire an agency. So I'm gonna tell you a few tips about when you should consider hiring a marketer or an agency to work in your business. Hey there, my name is Brandon Brashears and this is my YouTube channel where I create daily marketing videos here. If you want to grow your business with digital marketing, if you're trying to get the latest in tips and tricks and strategies for digital marketing, this is a great channel. Please consider subscribing. So let's talk about growing your business with digital marketing. Sometimes, and in the past two years, I've been taking on tons of clients with my digital marketing agency. <laughs> I've done digital marketing for the past 10 years, but I've seen tremendous growth specifically in channels and opportunity and people wanting to get started with digital marketing. But I think that there are times when it is not time for small business owners specifically to jump in and want to hire a digital marketing agency. So there's three tips that I have specifically for you. If you have these three things, I think it's time for you to consider hiring some. So I have four tips for you. And if you fall into these categories of not being ready yet, then it's going to be okay. It's not meaning that you're not able to use a digital marketing agency. It just means that you might want to postpone it or have different expectations. So let's get into these tips. So tip number one is that you have a proven offer. If you don't have an offer, that doesn't mean that you can't get um, success in your business and things. But if you have an offer that you're that's proven that you know your clients and your potential clients actually want, that's going to put you so far ahead. So a lot of times when I start with new brands and businesses, when they say, hey, I want to have some marketing done for me, they will say, um, I'll say, okay, great. What do you think that your clients are going to want? Either in a lead magnet, which is an offer to collect emails or what kind of um, webinars would interest them? What kind of products are we gonna be selling here? What is the offer? How are we gonna package this up and promote it to the right kind of people so that the right kind of people are going to respond and will get attract the right kinds of clients. And if somebody doesn't have experience in selling their, their product or their service, they're gonna say, well, you know, I'm not sure. And it's okay to be not sure, but if you don't have something that has been proven yet, it might be time for you to go to work and actually figure out what it is that you're trying to sell and who it is that you're trying to attract. Now, I understand that that's the job of a digital marketing agency and I work with people who don't have that in place yet, but you have to understand that my guess is as good as yours when it comes to things. We have principles and tactics that we can use, but ultimately until we test it and until we see that the market actually wants what we have, it's just a guess. And so it's going to take testing and time to develop offers that work. So if you don't have an offer that's proven that you know works, that's okay. But you're gonna have to have expectations that this is gonna take some time and testing to get everything figured out. And until things are figured out, it's, it's gonna be a test. So number one is making sure that you are testing or you have an offer. And if you don't have an offer, it's gonna take testing and time. So you might wanna consider testing offers on your own. And that leads us to part number two. You need to have clients. So if you don't know who your client is, if you don't know them really well and you haven't interviewed them, find out what makes them tick, find out what their biggest pain points are, find out what their biggest goals and their values, what their challenges are. If you don't have that data, you need to go and collect those people. You're not ready yet in most cases to hire a digital marketing agency. If you do hire an agency, chances are they will test things. And, and if you have a long enough runway to make sure that the tests go through, then you'll probably be successful, but you have to have a longer runway and your expectation needs to be such that you're going to um, take longer to get clients and, and provide return on investment. As a digital marketer, I actually like to go through and contact and reach out to current clients because I want to know the insights that they have. I need to know what makes them tick. What are the biggest um, emotional motivators that are trying to drive them into using this product or service. If you can get into their head and really understand where they're at, what's influencing their decision-making process, why they're doing business with you, what are the most important things, if you can get that rather than assuming, you're gonna have so much more data and you're gonna have so much more success to go off of. So all of that back-end work is very, very important. And since your business is unique, you are gonna know your clients and customers better than anyone else. And so if you don't have those clients and customers, I would say go out and find them first 
And then if once you have enough um, to say, okay, listen, we, we know who we're trying to serve and we know who we're trying to target, that's going to help you to be a lot more successful. Now, again, I'm not saying that you can't hire an agency. It's just going to take a lot longer if you don't have the answers to these questions. And I think they're very, very important questions. So you need to make sure that you get them at some point. Tip number three is that you want to scale. If you're already busy and overwhelmed right now, typically adding more clients isn't going to help the, the process. It's not going to help your business. A lot of times business owners think, okay, if I just was more busy, if I had more clients, more customers, if I could just fix this with more revenue, that may be the case. It may work out better. But a lot of times you're going to be uh, overwhelmed, especially when you have um, service businesses that get leads that require closing and follow-up. If you are busy now and you're unable to handle and service your current clients, it's not going to be helpful to get even more. You're just going to end up wasting money. I can't tell you how many business owners get leads coming in and they just don't follow up with them. Or when they do follow up, it is just time wasted because they waited a week or two weeks or a long time before they started communicating with their leads. If you want digital marketing to work out for you, it's not just a magic pill that fixes everything. You're gonna have to follow up with clients. And a lot of times, depending on the business that you're using and running, it's going to take a lot of work to convert clients. So digital marketing, a lot of times will get people to the initial conversation where it gives you the opportunity to close people. And if you're not able to follow up with those people, if you're not able to scale, it's going to be a waste of money. And the fourth and final tip that I have for you is if you are a business that doesn't do good service, if you have poor reviews, if your clients and customers are angry with you, even a, a large percentage of these clients and customers, if you have a 20% negative rate of um, interaction with your clients, if you have poor customer service, if you have poor follow-up, adding more clients is only going to basically create a bigger problem for your entire business. So you need to have a good solid business. You need to have an amazing service. You need to fix a problem. And when you're doing marketing, it is not a magic pill. Again, adding more revenue and more sales does not necessarily take away all your problems. It actually adds new problems, which are different problems. So if you're unable to work at low volume and produce good results at high volume, it's gonna only be worse. So make sure that you have a solid service, good customer service in place, and all of the systems that are going to support the additional customers and clients. If you don't have these four things, you're gonna be in trouble. All right, I'd love to know, did I miss anything? I'm sure there's more ideas that you have. Be sure to comment below. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.